It's time for a line vision update with UNA head football coach Chris Willis here after this Tuesday afternoon practice. Coach, it was very hot and humid today after a morning rain. You had a scrimmage Sunday, special teams day Monday, just over a week into camp now. What's been the overview so far? Well, you know, it's kind of going back to what I've been saying all along is just trying to get everybody used to practicing the way we want things done as our coaches we put them through different drills and the scenarios on the field, where are we located, how to get to where you go, just learning how to practice our way. Uh, everybody that we brought in has been practicing in a different way outside of the returners. And then, you you know, I, the biggest thing right now is just, uh, you know, we're still putting stuff in offensively and defensively. So, like, today was a new day for defense. They put in a lot of things. And so uh, it's almost like starting over a little bit for them guys. But overall, I, I've been very pleased, the effort, uh, all the work that these guys are putting in. Uh, they've been assertive. They've been locked in in their meetings. And, um, you know, they're working. They're grinding. You know, I, I've been – overall, I wouldn't give us an A-plus at this point in time, but I'd give us a solid B. I mean, but we're like I said, we've got another week or so of this to go, and hopefully by the time we kick off, we'll be at that A-plus. Like you were just saying, camp has been long, it's been hot, and, and I know you try to do things with the team to kind of take their minds off football just a little bit. Last Friday over the weekend, first off, we reveal our Adidas uniforms, eight jersey combinations, a couple different helmets as well. Last Friday, you did a jersey reveal to your players. What was the locker room like? Where was the level of excitement for those players seeing all of that? Well, I can tell you, they, they, were, they were fired up. They were so excited. You know, we live in a different time now. I know back in the day, as you call it, you know, we can go whatever year, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, even the 90s, where you pretty much had, you know, your home and away jerseys. And then, you know, teams out there across the country, and maybe it was Oregon, I don't know who, somebody started a trend of a different looks. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not all about having, you know, 12 to 18 different looks, don't get me wrong, and five or six different helmets, but these kids, they enjoy that stuff. That's the stuff they get fired up about, just like a ring when you win a championship. They want to see nice gear. They want to see a couple of different looks, and can we can we do this combo? And then, so we brought out the white helmet, and uh, we're going to try it. I think it, it went over well. I, I think it's a good-looking helmet. I actually like it better than the purple helmet. And so, um, you know, our, our colors, I think a lot of people are confused in, uh, on our colors. We're, you know, we're purple white with it with gold okay well how do you use the white and how do you use the gold a lot of that is in trim color or white is the secondary color from my understanding that's what i was told and then the gold is vegas gold that's what the whole university uses now and it's used as an accent you know like you know in your pants or jersey or around your number so um i thought it looked good i you know i was our guys were glad that we were with adidas adidas has done a good job i mean just to have you know, opportunity to do eight different looks with the two different helmets. That, that's just a neat deal, and it gives you a little change up. These kids, it's something about coming out of that locker room with a whole other look. So, As we wrap up this Lion Vision update, Coach, a number six ranking in the first AFCA poll released earlier this week. What does that say about your program? Well, I, you know, it goes back to kind of getting picked first in the conference. I, I just think it's a respect factor. You know, I, I I don't know how they come up with these rankings sometimes and how, how they – I don't I have a hard time believing they're sitting in a room discussing North Alabama's personnel uh, to a, a full max. I don't even know if they do it at all. But, you know, I, I just imagine they go off year to year, kind of overall, maybe a five-year period. I, I don't know. We did play for the national title last year. But, you know, I, I figured we would have been ranked. I, you know, ran ranked that high. You know, I was a little surprised. But, uh, you know – it's a good deal, man. They're, I think Texas Commerce got picked fifth and us sixth, so a top ten matchup. That'll be fun. And team coming from the big state of Texas, and then you got the uh, state of Alabama representatives. And good things, we're at home, so we ought to have a good attendance and uh, expecting big things on the 31st. Season opens August 31st. Season tickets still on sale. A national matchup, number six UNA, hosting number five Texas A&M Commerce. Get your season tickets today.